Hi YouTube. I've been thinking we need to make a list on how to spot sorcery in witchcraft. You know, that's what I've been trying to teach everybody is what it looks like by, you know, who you can see who they are. But to make an actual list. Um, oh, excuse the noise that will be gone in a minute. Uh, an actual list of characteristics of those people and tactics that they use, you know, like our own handbook of how to spot a demon or a hundred, a hundred and one ways um, to combat a demon or some dang thing like a playbook like that, you know. Well, you know, the Bible's good for spiritual soul list. And there are parts in there that speak on combating, like how you will and how you have Christ combat this for you. Um, you know, with God in our heart confronting us, but I'm actually talking to the point where we can pin pinpoint all this mental illness that falls under the dark, chaotic natures of psychopaths and sociopaths and those types, that not only can we give a description of their behavior, but we can give the people of the world a playbook on how to guard yourself from their wiles, like guarding yourself from the wiles of the devil because they are in human form. And it's such a misnomer that there's somebody that they aren't because they are in these flesh suits. No, we don't want to do anything to their flesh. Of course not. That belongs to God. But there's demons living in that shit. You know? The whole world needs the exorcism. I'd say, anyway. Excuse me a sec. It does. First it works, then it doesn't. Okay, you're gone. Most people are possessed. They are Satan's possession. Like you or I are God's possessions. <laughs> you know, he possesses us. So these sorcerers out there that pretend that they're riding the fence of dark and light, there's no in-between anymore. I, I'm thoroughly convinced that their time is up, that they had a certain a set amount of time was the thousand years that Satan got to be free. And um, y'all do what you will and have done in the past, and got banished and cast into human bodies. And that's exactly what I'm talking about for these times, the day of reckoning, you know? And this is a really big deal, confronting these demons and putting a stop to their shenanigans that they've always done that cause other people harm whether they love a demon and they're pacifying just to get along in this world. I don't care what the excuse is or who you are when it comes to that. You're on my list. If you're helping my enemy, you're an enemy of my enemy or you're my enemy is my friend. Nah, none of that bullshit.
if you're in the same camp working to kill me. That's who the fuck you are. You know? Period. So, anyway. Yep, how to spot a sorcerer and a wizard. Well, first off, if they're saying something that's untrue, that's the first strike. That some, Somebody that lies will do anything. A liar will do anything. End of story. Uh, that's the first strike. The second is bullying. Mass crowds, not just not just directing your um, their well spent energy towards uh, harming you, and I mean well as in the depths of hell, what they portray towards you. I guess that was a weird way to say that. Excuse me. But I think you get what I'm saying. Um, let me see. Okay, the second strike is bullying masses on these big channels. That's so narcissistic. Tar talking down to people, that's... Strike fucking two. Let's see, what would be a third strike? Pretending to still be a friend with somebody or talking to them just enough to get more information from that person that knows more than you and they take your information. Actually, that's almost the number one thing that is their strike. But we'll make it number three for all purposes of putting the lie towards the masses, the bullying towards the masses. Oh, maybe I got that lie thing in there twice. Let me think here. I'll have to sit down with a piece of paper and actually make a, a it would be called, a, just a minute, I'll get the perfect word for it. Not just an expose. <laughs> yeah, I'll expose you. Um, Oh, there's a word for it. I, I may think of it and I may not. That's okay. Um, anyway. Jesus, this is right on the tip of my tongue. It's when it's not an essay. It's like that, sort of, but it's a, uh, oh, dang it, and it's a business term. And it's right there. Like, Okay, forget it just right now. I might get it later. Um, I guess we could call it on legal terms like a discovery, like the pre-case discovery on these people, writing up a exposition. Yeah, I did say that, but um, so uh, discovery on them as a whole their personality type and um but see we need to this is the difference proving evil intent or mental illness I state today, I say this wholeheartedly and working in the mental health field that typically, unless we're dealing with a child, we are dealing with criminally 
insane, which are evil people. They are demonic. So that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with demonic spirits trying to pass themselves off as likable people when they aren't likable at all. And birds of a feather do flock together. So where are these flockers? You know, who do they hang around with? Who do they admire? Who the flock are they? You know, pinpointing these sorcerers and witches and wizards out on this planet that use a craft. That's what I was saying, like they wield it on us like a sword because they are sorcerers. They get their source from, it's not the water of the, the word of God, that's for sure, is it? And you can see it when they're talking. If you try to talk to them, it's like they just put up that wall. They love that wall. It comes down so quick, just like armor, you know? They bathe themselves in that shit. So don't feel bad pointing these people out and calling them by name. What's the big deal? I don't see anything wrong in it. I'm going to tell you that lie on all nation has studied sorcery and he can play his games and think that he is projecting his thoughts for his future but I'm telling you that he's being stopped in his tracks and he's just one of many that are playing this uh, evil game to them it's a game to me it's serious I don't take it lightly and I don't ignore it wherever I see it and uh, out of whoever I see it in if I catch you fucking up you fucked up that's it so it's the way it is like I say kids and all it doesn't matter my granddaughters know better. They don't cross me like that. They're good. <laughs> so far, so good, ladies. You know. Hey, it's just the way it is. It's called respect and humanity, and they have it. So you either have it or you don't have it, you know. So and sympathizing with the devil is not humanity, you know. Not at all. So I just want to make that really clear. And I'm calling them out by name. It is what it is. And no more games can be played on this uh, field of emotion that people are being spiritually attacked with. So I'm not allowing it anymore. Nobody's going to pretend to care about everybody and ignore the base and the foundation of r what runs this planet. You know, so that's, people are going to find out what cornerstone was rejected and why. It's a uh, male energy that made artificial feminine energy that is filled with all his children. So, I mean, AI is already here. That's that demonic that tries to come its brain to skull technology that the Masons have used from your birth. They measure your head so they can use the electronic technology they've always possessed in the ether. And this is all true. What I'm telling you is absolute fact. You know it inside yourself from what I just said. It's true. Don't let them tell you that that protractor and that uh, compass and that uh, uh, 
ruler or for anything else because this is what this is all about and there is like a, a size of a certain type of person that reflects everything I'm speaking about right here you know and some of you know just what I'm talking about and that it's true so like I say, there's no right in the fence no more. Everybody's wide awake. You're either woke, uh, go home or go broke, or what is it? Yeah, something. It's something. <laughs> so I felt like it was something I better talk about. And it's, uh, I don't care. I'm naming it how it is. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to get this up there because, uh, it's the truth. And if you're going to oppose what constitutes a family and encourage women and children to have to listen that a, some man is going to call another man a she, well, what is that? Um, something stinks in Denmark, or, and it isn't the cheese, or uh, something like that. All right, everybody. Peace. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me.